Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim, our love letter to the Skyrim modding community. I'm Tori. I'm Tyler. Today we're going to be looking at some fantastic mods, absolutely. some user suggested ones, and some ones that we found on our own accord. Yes, we absolutely are, Tyler. It's going to be a fun ride. So, Tyler, <laughs> let's get right into it. Cheers, buddy. Cheer. Oh, hold on. I got to grab the uh, wheel with do, my just knee. Do it with your leg. There we go. <laughs> Love the open road. It's a beautiful day in Skyrim. It is. It's a, it's nice and pink out today, but uh, we are here. Are right you? I'm sorry. Are you fucking colorblind? It's definitely orange. What did I say? You said pink. Fuck. Well, we're here today to show up hot out of the gate, mod number one. Uh, which, if you Tyler, you take a little peek. There it is. <laughs> This is, uh, this is bomb. Breakfast. This is breakfast, and it is, uh, part of the mod, bomb chicken follower. And he's got little Murak tentacles. He's got a lot of, he also shrinks and grows, like, he's sometimes a normal chicken size, sometimes he's a, like, big old chicken. Um, the and he's a follower that has the ability to explode, so basically you get into combat, he's gonna charge in and just be a martyr for the cause. The thing that I also love is that... Mm -hmm. We technically don't have space for a follower, so but no. he still follows. Yes, and there's also a spell added called Call Follower, and the mod creator clearly states, please use it. Please, please use it. Would you like to breed this chicken breakfast? Whoa. Well, they, they can't breed. One needs to be a rooster for that. Is that how it works? Yeah, roosters are males. And chickens are all females? Yeah. It's oh, like, that's why they have breasts. Yeah, it's like cows. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I knew I didn't see any male chickens with titties. I didn't see any chicken dick. Not one. I've never oh seen... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's, let's go find ourselves some combat so that we can watch him well, blow himself get, up. I wanted to get far enough away to use that... Uh, mm. Where's that spell located? Dude, fuck if I know. Conjuration. Doesn't say. Oh, call follower. You passed it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Summon a breakfast. All right. Well, oh God! It's bats! I got. He just arrives in in bats. He arrives in a in a just a gaggle of bats. In a in a in a gaggle of bats. Are there any bandits over let's, here? Let's there should find, be some bandits. Let's find some bad boys. Let's yeah. Let's let's get to where the bad boys are. Doodly doodly doo. Let's call in our trusty breakfast. Yeah, because we found uh, some some real real bad Talos warshippers, and I think we should blow them up. So let's start this combat. Yep, that's a good start yeah, to the fight. That's a good huh? start. That's a good way to begin. And where's our chip? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was so much bigger than I thought it would be. Holy shit! So he attacks with six different types of explosions. I can just put this away, I guess. Yeah, I guess he's just gonna kind of do the damn thing, huh? Okay. What the fuck? Oh my! Like a God. summoning, dude. This is dope. Oh, he sh he blew him backwards. Jesus Christ! I'll, I'm gonna say it. Breakfast is scarier than Feindall. Breakfast is scarier than Feindall, 100%. Oh, Look at him he... just go in there and do the- he's just doing work in there, and dude! And that's the thing, too, is that you you'll never find him. No, because he just- he could run into the underbrush and he scuttles so goddamn fast! Don't hurt breakfast! Damn, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, he's wearing one. Who did it? Who did it? It was them. Those motherfuckers. Take Breakfast, are you okay? Oh, they yeah, are. He is. He That's what I that love, too, is that you I don't like, know where he is. I saw the explosion, and then, like, a couple seconds later, I see him scuttle around the tent, like, don't worry, boss. I got it. I'll kind of handle this one, I think. Let's just see what he does here. We got one right in the behind, though. Oh, I love that. Dude, Breakfast is amazing. Oh, my God, he blew... I, I just love that you can't see where he is. I know. Like, but you can just see like, the destruction he causes. No breakfast, let's get out of here. Yeah, breakfast, let's we we better dip before the the uh, authorities before show up. The, yeah, we don't so. we don't want the authorities on our back again. Uh breakfast, let's get out of here and let's get into mod number 2. Tyler from mod number 2, we find ourselves here on this this dreary afternoon in the near the guardian stones because we have a very very special mod made by a very, very special mod creator. Roll that fucking music. 
Yep, it's cyan. You yeah, yeah, we it. got cyan. I feel like it's been a long time. Like I know I used to say that, even though we did it every week. It feels like it's been a long. Has it ever time. been weekly? Well, it was more frequent, I guess. Let's say more frequent. These but are the penis stones. Th- those are the dick stones. <laughs> God, we're so fucking funny, and we are here for blink short distance teleportation. Um, now we've tried to show off teleportation spells in the past, and they just haven't really worked. But I have high hopes for Cyan's well, mod. You, well, you told me to come here, but I don't know. Yeah, just walk a little bit behind it, and uh, it's going to start a little bit of a quest. So oh. let me... Uh, okay, here we go. So this is the part you should pay attention to because it's a little bit confusing. At an unstable blink, the spell is removed after 30 seconds, and the chest has warped to a different location. So you can back out of this. When you touch the chest, it disappeared in an instant. This chest seems to have an unknown magic effect. Ooh. Boom. Started the blink spells. Now? Now I gotta get there in 30 seconds. Yep, and you do have an unstable blink blink spell for 30 seconds. Uh, No, the chest will stay there. You only have the blink spell for 30 seconds until you've kind of completed this little quest. All the way at the bottom, unstable blink. Nope, gone already. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay. Whoa! Okay. So... That's that's it for now. Uh, but we, don't worry, we're it's on to better things. We just we just need to show you how to how to get it first. So there's oh, the now uh, it's gone. There's the chest again. Oh, added it again. And now the chest has warped. So once again, just pull that spell out, and now you can try it. Uh, maybe. I didn't even know you could. Oh, try it again. There we go. Cool, and then pretty much instantly we didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, and it's it doesn't go to like the 15 seconds, then dip to black, then all that kind of stuff. It it warps you, which is really really cool. And, and plus, I didn't even know you could remove a spell after 30 seconds. I know like, it's that's it's weird. a weird. It's a cool like I think it's a fun little quest to do. Oh. Like it's a it's interesting how they went about making it like a little game to get it. So once again, ah, unstable blink spell for 30 seconds. And where'd it go? So it kind of continues like this, just chasing it down and kind of learning about how you could possibly do that. And, and from what my testing uh, taught me, I think if you're walking, it becomes a lot more difficult, whereas you can have a more reliable, like, it will work if you're standing still when you do it. No, but well, fuck my testing then. You just disproved everything. Damn, Tyler. You owned me. Yeah, you're a dumb, stupid lib. Yeah, you got me good, though. That's cool. It's like practically instantly. Stop it. Why'd you do that? I'm trying to secure the bag, as the kids would say. Oh, like a bag of that sweet, sweet nug? Like the Wendy's nuggets? Spicy chicken nuggets back for a limited time only at Wendy's? They're not. I'm pretty sure it's not limited time. It's limited. Is it really? Yeah, it's limited, Tori. What do you think? There's an infinite supply of spicy nuggets just laying around? Yep. Probably I do. Probably is. <laughs> Complete chest is Stop empty. it. Really, the chest is empty. Get yourself up on... So, is it, there's a weird thing where it... Sometimes, like, the first shot doesn't quite catch. And I don't know what that is. Sometimes and the first shot doesn't hit its target. But you gotta keep shooting. I've seen Top Shot. I know how it goes. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I don't think we Oh, are. God! I thought it was another oh, T-posing bear, and I got very scared. I got very, very frightened from that. Man, I love this, Cyan. You put, you're, make, you're, you're giving us a little game. You are. You're making it fun. And I like. I, I don't think I've ever seen a quest implemented oh, on PS4. Shit. You know what I mean? Where it actually like gives you like the quest objectives and like puts it into your quest log and stuff? I don't think I've ever seen that on PS4. Oh, God. There's three of them now? What? Uh, there are two of them. What? Yeah, like that's it's from Star Wars. Oh, yeah. I don't. I I'm kind of into cool stuff. I like um, the Office and Friends and stuff. Oh yeah, that's the least cool shit ever. Well, try telling that to Michael me. Scott doesn't have a lightsaber. No, but he's got a lot of heart. 
And boy, does he just get into some wacky adventures. He sure does. But gosh, that Jim and Pam, they're so funny and cute. Love them. I love those. I'm just a Jim trying to find my Pam in life. You know what I mean? Okay, so we are arriving here. And um, what you're going to want to do, there you go. So it has like a trigger box once you get in this area that gives you the blink spell. And it wants you to um, kind of use it in like a chain succession to show you the different levels you can do. Uh, let's draw that one again. All right, now the next one. Okay. Where is that? Get a good look up. Oh, way up there. Aim. Uh, you might want to be a little. You might not make that. That might be a little too low. Yeah, you fell straight to the ground. You fell like a big dumb idiot. You gotta overshoot it a little bit. This is a kind of a tricky one to pull off, but uh, just give it another go. It will. Um, it'll have the the trigger box once you get up there and give you it for thirty seconds once again. So. Cyan was smart about this, knowing that it wasn't necessarily an easy thing to pull off. Where is breakfast? Let's just make this a little bit easier. Uh, breakfast oh, and he's off. You went through a... Uh, oh, the, oh, look at how... See, look how big he is, right? Good God. He. Why did he get so big? So, so overshoot it yeah, a little Overshoot it a little bit. And... There we nice. are. There it is. How'd that get up there? There we go. So here's what we have. Multiple different, and all of the blinks are gonna do the same thing, but they're gonna look different. So ghost blink, lightning blink, mage blink, shadow blink. You got them all. Void blink, damn, there's a lot of blinks, dude. Oh, they're, they're just indifferent, so you can organize them however you want. You can do an alteration or a conjuration. Yep, and there's also 43 feet and 25 feet and different ones, so. Um, yeah, I think we should just go for the 40-some feet ones. And uh, let's, yeah, then give a little little try to all of them. Shadow blink. Yeah, let's give this one a go. I mean, it's only 43 feet, which isn't super far. Still, because it is short distance teleportation, as the mod says. Oh, oh, okay, so that one does do a dip to black. But it still but isn't. still a shadow. It's called shadow, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's the reason. Yeah. So void blink. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, okay. it's more like a purple -ish. Yeah, kind of a purpley haze to it. That's cool. We got Mage Blink. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a green light. Yeah, kind of like a transmute spell, I believe. Something. Oh, here's the Unstable Blink. Yeah. yeah, so that's cool. And they all work very quick. Lightning Blink, I think, was the one we were using. Yep. Yeah, that's like the Unstable one. That's awesome. But it's I more like stable. I like shadow because it does do that dip to black, which makes it feel a little bit more mm -hmm. natural. What about the? Did we do uh, the void one as well? Yes, that okay. was the purple one. Right. I I like the way the shadow one operates, is because then it doesn't just look like your game's about to crash. Uh huh. Ghost. Let's give it a shot. I kind of like that one. Yeah. So these are really cool, and I think they could be used in conjunction with like combat or getting to places that you need to go. Like, imagine if you were in a in a, a fight and then you blinked to a rooftop so that you could then be an archer, or then you you know you bl blinked behind someone and then got them from the back or something like that. I think that I mean it's just cool to be able to teleport. Yeah. But I also think it could have a lot of like cool ways to implement into your game. Like if we didn't have double jump, I would absolutely be using this. Uh huh. Like our super jump, pretty much. Yeah. And if, like just but yeah, like you're an archer up here, and then, oh, I'm actually going to come down here and start fighting. Yep. I think it's really, really cool, and it's just uh, it's just amazing that it could work. Even, you know, it's a very short distance, but I I don't think that's Cyan's fault. I think Cyan would have made it even a lot further. just like, ah, fuck, I can't get up there. Oh, I just fell a little too far, actually. And then yeah, boom. and then boom. Okay, it's like now I can get over the mountain part, or you don't have to spam the jump button or whatever. So, yeah, really interesting, really well done, and even has like a fun little quest to go with it. Can't really go wrong with this one. You can't really go wrong with this one. No. That's the shapeless gaming guarantee. Tyler, what do you say we blink over to mod number three? A pleasant day in the quaint town of Riverwood. Always a nice day in Riverwood, and uh, we are here. Tyler, go across that little bridge to the uh, the island region. Uh, because ah, the the sort of island region of Riverwood. The island, yeah, the, and then you're gonna go the uh, the other way, the kinda, tropical getaway. Yeah, follow along the side of that fence there, and right as we get to this edge, give it a little hop, and there is a new chest. 
for the, you don't need the chest, but it's for the mod Epic Realistic Enchantment Effects. So this is going to change up uh, your, the, how enchantments look. And it's not every single one of them. Some of them are subtle. Some of them are much more Danger in your face. Battle Axe of Storms. But, Let's try that out. Yeah, it does a, does a good job. This was also suggested Ooh. suggested to us by John Sabara, so thank you, John. Ooh, this looks so much better than the glowing. Doesn't it? Like, because it's just like little bursts of like electricity kind of like wrapping her. It almost kind Ooh. of it has like a Kylo Ren lightsaber effect almost. You know what I mean? Where it has yeah. like a little lightning burst. Let's check out Terror. So a much more subtle one. Very nice. Almost, a, almost like it has a coating. I like the subtlety. I do as well. Winter. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, it's got like a nice like Leviathan axe glow. It, yeah, you know what it does, and it's not like oh here's a blue axe. It's like it's got some like it's it's like it, it was left out in the winter. You know, like in the early or like late fall, Tyler, when the grass uh, just has like that coating yeah. of dew like frozen dew over it yeah it's look like at that. it in third person it's just got a little bit of a glow to it i i dig it like something kind of magical about it yeah and i because we used a really intense one for a long like, time years uh so it's nice to have one that's a little more subtle Inferno. until you get to this natalia you remember that flame sword we showed off a couple weeks back yep um is this the same person I don't remember who made that one. This is Imperial Agent, so maybe. Um, so it, you can tell we're having the same exact issue uh, that we were having with that other one. But there then, we go. then it works sometimes. But this one is fucking buck wild. I love it. Just, just fucking nuts. Like, do you want to? I love it. <laughs> just a Daedric Axe is blazing up. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Ooh. so this one's kind of got like a like it's almost like the magic that you'd hold in your hand, except for it's like emanating from the from the axe. Yeah. And then it still has like the light little purpley effects. I dig it. Yeah. I'm it into looks it. like it actually is like a fucking black hole or something that would suck a Daedra right up. Yeah. Mm, really suck that Daedra. And then the last one devouring. So a similar thing. Yep. Kind of with Very that magical nice. effect. I'm into it. Oh, I can't even see it. Go into. Is there like a. Another hand effect. I can't. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, yep. Looks like you can see it kind of in the, in your hand. So another one that yeah, looks like good. magic. It's part. Of yeah, very light, light green on the blade. Not a lot you not, can tell from that angle either. Uh uh. It just looks like something's kind of coming from your hand. Yeah, it looks something wicked. I like it. I like these versions. And these aren't just these weapons. I don't know if we already said it. Those aren't no, just it, these weapons in the chest. These are the weapons you already have. But there are weapon. There is a weapons chest in case you want to test it out. Yep. So that's kind of just so you can get a look at everything that there is on offer. But yeah, yeah really, see really cool. We have anything. Anything different? I think anything specific. Let's see if this just works. Just a small version of just, a little. Just a small. Yeah. Just a small flame blade that you can swing around yep. with reckless abandon. Yep. You know how I love you know this. how fire stays really still when you wish it around. Yeah, like a lightsaber. Yeah, it, it, yep, that's what it is. It's a fire saber, and I love it. I love this one. I love this mod, but we got one last mod to get to. We sure do. Tyler, what do you say we sail into mod number four? Ahoy, oh. and welcome to mod number four, which uh, it's called Stormbreaker, mm -hmm. and it is a fully nav-meshed, fully crewed ship that Look is now... Breakfast is there. Yeah, so you can yeah you can see right here that's fully nav mesh because our followers here with us. So let me this description is good, so I want to read it. Ahoy, there be a ship moored off the north coast of Skyrim, and after you be beaten the captain in a game of cards, it now belongs to you. Fully crewed, fully nav meshed. Crew's quarters and captain's quarters are no reset zones, meaning you can store as much booty as you see fit. And um, nice. Oh, and I'll be seeing you, matey. That's how it ends. So here's a weird thing for the chair. You can spin all the way around. Oh, wait, no, go back first person. Spin around. Now, spin around all the way, then go third person. Like, no, spin, spin around, like, facing the chair. <laughs> yeah. Um, Isn't that fucking weird? Ahoy. <laughs> 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 it's so good. When I was testing the mod, I played around with this for, like, ten minutes. Does it say that in the mod? Nope. That you can do that? I just uh, I just found it when I sat down in there. It's great. Yeah, so all of the... And there's no purple faces on any of the crew, which is very, very impressive. And it's just a... Just a gaggle of buccaneers. 
Oh, beautiful. I love I love these strong bucks. Look at them. Mm. Need something. And there's a table. I love that detail yeah, that like there's like fully a detailed, fully uh, uh, like has all the all the equipment and amenities and someone who knows what I like. Someone who knows how to put a good cooking spit there. That's really all it takes to get Tyler's boat. Yeah. Oh nice man, this is boat. really detailed. I love this. Yeah. It's, it's great. Very well detailed. And it, it's a big crew too. It's not like, oh, here's three people. We have a full crew. No, it is fully manned. Yeah, it's not like other ship mods we've shown off kind of previously where it's like, yeah, there's a couple crew members there. No, there's a there's a lot. This That's is, good. This is the good shit. I don't right think the boat here. goes anywhere though. I don't believe the boat goes anywhere. No, it doesn't say that in the in the mod, and I didn't figure out a way. But we can go into the crew and captain's quarters and yes, check out so uh, some of the inside. Yes. Set sail, yes, so buccaneer. She's like, isn't that your job, Captain? So here mm. in the captain's quarters, crunch it ties me. And you can, th I mean, you can see that it's just the Cataria um, skin. But I mean, I don't know what else, what other big ship like model they even have in the game. Um, I don't see a dead body over here, though. Uh, we didn't do that. That was that was someone else. That was the Gord. That was May. Gord Ramsey. Yeah. Um, we got a little library in yeah, here. Yeah, I love it. Like it's got all the same details, but like you can. This is one that you can then make your own. Yeah, it's got the Dark Brotherhood kind of window, the mannequins, a you little can, office you can space. Right. If you're if you're a literate person. It's great. Like it's got a, it's got everything you're gonna need in here. It's a it's a cool little like office bedroom area. Have we ever decided if Jan is literate? Because <laughs> um, I think if we if we just made some some slight tweaks to the lore and Jan has been illiterate this whole time, that would be very funny. I think that adds a lot to the depth of Jan and why he strives so much to excel in other regions of his life because he's dyslexic. He just he, can't quite make sense of the dumb squiggles on the paper. He, and, and that's why he he acts out in violence. Yeah. Because really, he's just dealing with this this deep issue set within himself that he's he's always been embarrassed and self conscious about. But Jan, now confirmed, cannot read. Jan, illiterate fuck. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that that this here. Let's changes. read. That's why we have Skyrim storyteller. <laughs> so <laughs> it's Jan literally can listen. Us reading. <laughs> So, so Jan can listen so he doesn't have to read it. That's why Jan needed cool books, because he can't actually read. But he called it cool books because he didn't want to sound lame. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, we're finding out a lot. Let's get to the other rooms. Yep. Okay, so we're here in the crew quarters. Uh, another thing I'm noticing is that they have uh, music inside, which is great. Yeah. A lot of times places feel empty because there's no music going on. But this one, we got the nice, uh, the best kind of Skyrim music, which is like the inn and stuff music. And what might you need? I like your do -rag. I'm your captain. God, Put a shirt on. Guy. He must have been eating a lot of ass because he has the pinkest eyes. Nice war room in here. So it's kind of where the poor you can, people Here, hang hold out. on, turn around. You can see where Jan got angry and threw a bunch of books from the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I understand <laughs> you? <laughs> Just goes into a fit of what rage. What secrets do you hide? And then he, like, <sighs> collects himself, walks stoically out of the room as the rest of the crew looks at him, gets oh, back to his cabin. Yes, oh, shit, this is very nicely detailed. There's a bar down here. Yeah? yeah? Penny mm -hmm. Parley. Penny Parley? What's up, girl? What do you got? I'd better get going. Oh, no, you work here. You don't get to... You're not off yet. I, this is a I cool, love like, mess hall room. area. Look, at we got a little jester. Savon. Cool. That's the douchiest name for a jester. Um, my name is Savon. Well, don't, you know, you don't have to make fun of her just for choosing. God, he's huge now. I want to know what secrets he holds. Old storage area. Fuck, this is nice. Yeah, this is, Tyler, this is a good boat right here, dog. This is a boat I can see myself on. This is a boat I could really see myself hitting the high season. Yeah, it's a good boat. No purple faces. Everyone has voices. That's a very. There's a lot of people, dude. It's a diverse crew too. Like it's not just all. I mean, it's mostly. I hate this mod now. Then, it's uh, it's got dark elves and Argonians and Nords and Bretons and yeah. 
It's got a whole host of folk here. It's forced diversity, Tori. Yeah, can't really call Bethes it. DA can't is, really call forced agenda a mod. You know what I mean? Ugh. Yeah, it's it's a forced agenda. Guys, can someone yeah. clip that and send it to Shitty Gamer Takes? It's kind of my goal to be on that Twitter. That's a good Twitter. <laughs> yeah, 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 we just can't we can't have all this forced diversity. Bethes DA is really shoving it down our throats here, and mm -hmm. probably have to pay if you want an all oh, Nord just, crew. I don't know why they're trying to like. <laughs> have this liberal agenda in this game. But, I um, know, it's just the worst, you know what I mean? But this is a great ship, you know? This is such a good ship. I do want to I do want to get that across again. It's a very good ship. It's one of the best boats I've been in and I've been in a lot. I mean, they don't call me Tory Boat Boy for nothing. Um, I love this. They they've all got like different details too. Like he's got like the eye patch. Yep. The it, everyone is everyone has like their own unique thing. Yeah. Like he's just ugly as shit. Yeah, That's there's, his there's thing. even like Dramora lords who they they're not like they just use them as regular people. <laughs> this That's, is fingerless glove guy. Yeah, That's kind of his everyone, thing. Every office has one. Um, this is dead guy. <laughs> That's dead guy who's been dead for a long time, but no one really wants to do anything about it. There's a Dramora guy. There's a Dramora. Yeah, he's a he's the brawn of the of the operation. I love it. This is just it's Ooh, so cool. A smithing area. It's got, yeah, it it really does have all the amenities that a player home anything you'd expect, but you kind of feel like you're part of this. Like it's like a community what almost. Doing, it's it's your really weird floating apartment building. Ah, oh, the something? guy who's celebrating Christmas. I think it's time to set sail on this episode and really appreciate the the salt in our face. We go out there one last time, get a good look at this ship, and then call it. I think that sounds amazing. Now, Tyler, I love being out on the deck of our ship, mm. the one that we own because we got very lucky in a poker game. But which is strange because Jan can't read the cards. He can't, he can't read the cards, but he no one was going to say anything when he had a guy telling him exactly how to play the game. But I think it's time we um, we go where we belong, out on the, the open sea, finding new adventures. What do you want? And, and uh, busting new chops. And busting nuts. We're busting... That's why the sea is so salty. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the sea is salty because it's full of cum! Let's, uh, ahoy That's mateys. why they call them semen! I think we just unlocked something there. We should get out of here before our brains explode from getting so smart. He's so big! Yeah, let's, uh, let's set sail, bring salt to the sea, and, um, make our way to Margaritaville, baby. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. If you have any mods you'd like to suggest, or you just want to say hello, you can do that on Twitter. You can find me at Lurking Lion. I'll be at Subtly Cool, or you can contact everyone. You're good, right? At Shapeless Skin. I'm totally good. Sick. All right, cool. Um. Oh, what was I saying? Shapeless Gaming. Yes. Um. We're on social media. You can find us there. Um. <coughs> You can... Uh, nah, you look fine. You look fine. You can find us there, and um, don't call the cops on us. We're totally good. Don't be a snitch, you, f you losers, but come back on uh, on Thursday so we can... T t I mean, Friday for the... No, wait. I got my days mixed up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks. Sometimes I masturbate when I poop. <laughs>